Hello folks and welcome back to another Blood Omen 2 bug hunting exploration session. Today is Tuesday the 7th of December 2021 and it's 5.15pm in very dark England. You hear that? Hear what? Sounds like farting below and then a thump. A thump? Like a body striking the floor. That's an evil kind of thump. What should we do? I always do. Go on like we never heard nothing. I never heard nothing. <laughs> wow. I'm playing games. <laughs> ah! 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 You can run, but you cannot hide. That's a bit crap, isn't it? <laughs> There's got so many ladder bugs in this game. Notice that um, the red coffers have three little blobs in them, and the blue ones have five. Okay, what's down there? Again, with a weird level design, like, why would you have that? It's, it literally goes to nowhere. Can I jump around this bad boy? Can indeed. That's no, not worth it. I save regularly, just in case it does crash. Were you followed? These humans never look twice in my direction. Little do they realize their future lord walks among them. Now, tell me of this place. Umar tells me the Nexus Stone will be found in the main factory beyond the dam. There will be a gondola to take you there. If this is deactivated, you must look below for the glyph to repower it. But be careful of the guards. Have you any further wisdom to dispense? I sense the presence of another vampire close by. He may be watching you. I will whisper you again when it is needful. Once again, I began to feel the obligations of power. To deal justice fairly to all. One day my people would know me again for their lord. But the vampires who were traitors to their kind would know me first of all. Even in a very short space of time, um, Kane's blood ticks down quite quickly. So I don't know if it's activity based or time based, like if you walk around a lot, does a lot of blood start leaking from his vial or is it a case of, um, you know, the amount of time you spent in game. So that won't run until I press the uh, switch below, which is that bad boy right there. Whee! Oh, thanks. Refreshing blood. Please. 
what you're saying. What was that? Let's see what we've got around here. Let's see if we can go past this. Hmm? Maybe not. Nothing here. I normally check the perimeters first and then start kind of going around all the other places. Stay back. Activate the switch from above, which I'll have to go back to anyway, so that's fine. Just want to check. I haven't missed anything in the premises first. I don't think there is, to be honest. There's not much here to, 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 to do or to see. That was weird. The, 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 the animation for him to jump just got stuck. It wouldn't move. To be honest, I've never had that before. There's not much you can do up there or there. It gives you a good kind of vista of um, the entire area. But I mean, there's not much you can do. The objective is to get back there so I can get to the switch, which is literally right down the end there. But to do that, I am going to jump on these boxes. Whee! Ah, there's another coffer for me. So you remember what I was saying before about the uh, blue ones having five? We'll see now. One, two, three, four, five. There's actually nothing around here. And you can't actually jump two box... Well, you can. That surprises me. That's not one there. Usually I expect him to do the bare minimum, which is one crate at a time, but I'm surprised he can actually do two. Um, you can't long jump very far, so I don't think I could, like, jump there. It would save me a bit of time, but not that much. I think that's what it means by that gondola thing over there. Because the gondola in this game is not a traditional one. It, last time I remember, I think it was by air. It's like an old medieval kind of crane. So the one thing I didn't understand about this, right, is that that is steam. Right? You can see the little pressure gauge. So theoretically, that's hot water, but it creates mist. Again, it's a, it's not a bug. It's, it's um, you know atmospheric design, which is cool. It's just um, you know strange. They tend to have uh, very kind of conflicting things that happen. Oh, there's an enemy afoot. Let me go in here first. Okay, big enough. Oops. I'm doing that. Get back in your cage. He's got a kind of very uh, sort of Prince of Persia type sword. I might remember. I'll show you actually. look around. It's quite a, a good looking sword. Actually, I'll keep that. Why not? I don't think there's much you can do in this particular room. And there's no coffers around. The one thing I do like about this game is they're actually quite generous with the amount of coffers you, they do provide. That's weird. They look like having conversation, but they're not actually saying anything. You know what? I will take this bad boy. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can see his collar with no neck.
take a looky. There's no point using the steam, it looks like it runs out. sure if he was going to activate based on me seeing him. God, that other guy is already chicken. He just ran out. Where did he go? There he is. What are you? Taking his blood already, I have. That should just automatically open because there is no switch. Oh no, I'm gonna have to save it because by the time I go down. I don't really want to reload it to be honest. I could reload it and then just kill all the enemies all over again. Just copy the bottom. Let's see if there's any enemies around. Coffers. Oh, there's some. I've noticed that those enemies, if you come close enough to them, they don't use those um, flaming bow and arrows, they, um, they just use the sword and attack you head on. Very clever actually. I imagine there's like a, um, a proximity detection so that if you get close enough it doesn't bother with the arrow because you're not far enough for it to actually be effective enough. So this part, you just have to hit all the four switches, which opens up the little vent. And then um, it should automatically activate uh, the conveyor belt system. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to kill all these guys first. The thing I like about that particular weapon is you feel like there's gravity to it when you actually use it on an enemy. Like they feel like there's weight to it. So at this point you have to go back up, I'm just trying to find the ladder. There's only one in this area it looks like. I think it's the far back where the switch is. The little podium. Yep. So the idea is that that thing is uh, moving and it will be imbued with the glyph energy and then uh, you come out through this area here. If you stand in the middle it doesn't actually kill you. open. So 
Although it doesn't look like it, I actually fell down there. Um, and you automatically die. So even if you have the cheat enabled so that you're invincible, you still die. I think this part is where there's an explosion. Oh yeah, there is. This part's quite funny actually. Ever seen anything like that? Don't touch it! I heard it's magical and dangerous. Oh, they say that about everything. The workers move them all the day. Come on, won't do any harm to... <laughs> thing is that object is actually puzzle driven unless you're prepared to find somebody that's going to go on a kamikaze mission nobody's ever going to do that it doesn't look like there's anything that you can actually do here it doesn't can't climb that either Literally embedded. Saves me a job. Zone where there's nothing to do. What are you? Is more? I think I might have to save and reload if I get a chance. Well, they're saying that there's only like three real enemies where you could actually get any real blood. So I think this is what they mean by gondola. It doesn't really travel in on on water. It travels um, uh, in in the air using like a mechanic. It's like a kind of electric tram but that uh, moves uh, in the air there's nothing there Expect that based just on the impact alone that she would just fall in. Never falls in. <laughs> I just stood there. Brave man. I think going forward, what I will not do is save and reload anymore. 
just for the sake of consistency and uh, not boring you guys to tears with my uh, lore hunting escapades. Notice he's actually looking up. I wonder if there's an enemy up there. No. Never seen him do that before. I wonder if that just has that bug. Nope, doesn't have that bug. That's weird. In all the games, it's not surprising where they have um, certain areas, certain um, um, sprites or uh, walls that tend to flicker when you walk past them. That can be for a multitude of reasons, but they're considered such minor bugs that they just don't get fixed. The thing is, when you're doing um, QA testing, testers will always report the bugs, but the de um, developers may not always fix it because the risk of breaking more things is more detrimental than um, the ability to, to fix something very, s what seems minute and I uh, irrelevant, insignificant to, to kind of repair. You see how the sword's in midair. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the old Thief games. Of course, this this game is like way ahead of um, you know Thief. Should be another save point. That's weird. You'd expect sound, but you didn't hear any door opening sounds. Wonder if he'll spot me. Yes, he did. I don't know if that lowers the lift or it lowers the... Oh, it does lower the lift. Oh. I thought you had to walk around it. because it's fun. That was weird. Kane was just stuck there for a second. They couldn't actually move him at all. How did he see me? That was weird.
would have been awesome if he actually chopped them in half. But I don't think that they would have had the time or the um, patience to uh, implement their animation. Plus, I don't recall if this game was rated an 18 or not, so it might be considered far too violent to actually stick in a game like this. I do recall some um, enemies with the illuminated armor, the Seraphine Guards. Oh, he's right there! Wow, really didn't give me a chance, did he? I do like that double-ended sword though, it's really cool. Sadly, you don't get a real impression of um, power with it though. What I actually do, for the intensive purposes of just demonstrating how how it looks when you do use it, I'll have it equipped. Risk it. <sighs> Again, because I'm invincible, all that will happen is if I fall in, I'll basically land on the bottom of the terrain. And I may not be able to get up if uh, there's no collision detection in which to cling on to. So I'm always very kind of apprehensive about um, taking the Mickey too much. <laughs> uh, what I'll do is I'll smack him and try to grab him. And then I'll show you what it looks like when you actually stab and impale. Someone ought to teach you a lesson. Bottom, bottom, top. Doesn't look very good, unfortunately. But again, you do feel like there's a lot of gravity when you do a um, a f um, a rage attack. Okay, there's nothing else in here. If I moved further back enough, I would have been able to um, try a, a stealth kill. Did I take the blood from that? I did. Just forgot to press the switch. Same weapon I've got equipped. It's just in a closed format. Oops, I should have. Oh, never mind. Bah! <laughs> it's not as cool as a stealth kill, but it's still quite funny. Take Prince Dastan's sword. <laughs> On your feet, soldier. I 
think there's maybe another two enemies in this area. I haven't replayed this level for a while. Sounds gross to say this, but it's probably the most effective stealth kill. You st stab them in the throat, they can't scream for help. I think this is where you have to do mind control so that they can open the, the lever because... Oh, no. This is actually where you mind control so that they activate the bomb. So there's actually nothing in there to do. So if I show you, you can't jump, you can't really do very much. And there's no coffers here or anything special, it's just two conveyor belts in this. Goodbye! The good thing is that there's at least three people to drink blood from. Oh yes, one thing I keep forgetting is to re-enable that bad boy. I wonder if one of the dead bodies fell through the um the gap or is they just stuck over here? No, they're stuck over here. From what I recall, I believe there is a coffer here somewhere near a car. Absolutely not deterred by the earthquakes. Should be down here. Sire! A body! We found a body, sire! It won't be the last. He is here. I sense the taint of his overblown elegance. <laughs> Double the guards in the power chamber. You must not be allowed to approach the Nexus Stone. Who is it, sire? An old friend who will learn his place in the world at last. If you see or hear anything out of the ordinary, report to me at once. Yep, nothing else in here, so let's do the mind control, shall we? Just gonna get centre view. Oops. Because of these way, because of the way the game is designed, they'll always have characters moving backwards and forwards all the time. Otherwise, it makes the game impossible to complete. So I'm expecting a character to move back. One thing I will double check is if they're actually in the other window. Oh, that's, that would be why. Makes it an easy kill for me, doesn't it? Hello, Kane. Help! Did you hear something? <gasps>
yeah, baby. Huh. Yep, another my control place. Oh, hang on. No, it's just for display. There's no switches or anything. So before I fight Sebastian, I will definitely be saving. That area is incredibly buggy. Let's see if there's anything else in this area. Oh, this is just a save point, so no. Should allow me to go through the machine via the conveyor belt. Stop playing games! Ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, his, his costume vaguely reminds me of the um, of uh, Kratos from the original Greek version of God of War. Bones breaking. Yeah, I should have just enough to expand my life bar. So, what else is in here? Mind control and a coffer. Anything else? I don't think so. What does that do? <laughs> I have no idea. She has to go through it, I imagine. There's no switches in here. Oh, there it is. Good thing is that you can always investigate while there's nobody there to attack you. So um, now I can go in and pretty much just focus on the, uh, the task I had. There should be one more enemy who's clearly not interested in attacking me at all. He doesn't mind me drinking the blood of his comrade. He's not even looking my direction. Oh, he sees me now. Lost his head. Whee. Oh, it's near the ceiling. Nothing else down here. So the one thing I've noticed is that you can't actually mind control those guys. I 
don't belong around where. Come on, say it again. I dare you, say it again. One thing you'll notice about the mist is it's not actually at ground level. Can you see that? Literally about, I don't know what, maybe a few inches above ground. In fact, you can see, look if you look at Kane's ankles, it's not actually touching the floor, it's literally just above it. I'm apprehensive about pressing that, to be honest. Kane will survive. Oh god, there we go. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm actually surprised he didn't survive that, to be honest. But, I mean, maybe I've got too many expectations of uh, Kane. But, um, I mean, I'll try, but I don't think you can control the minds of soldiers. You can control the minds of, you know, the simpletons, but not the um, the soldiers. Uh, what happens is the way it's supposed to be uh, like a white um, circular um, kind of icon, it actually becomes red. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Got this whole thing again. Says me right for not having that prepared. Well, okay, that makes sense. I, I get so um, I get my kill frenzy on so much that um, I didn't think maybe I could have used the mind control to trigger the bomb without having to trigger it myself. there's nothing else in here. Actually, um, from what I recall, there's actually a coffer in here, wasn't there? There it is, it's on the right-hand side, not the left. I'm very close, just need to kill one person. is I'll control her instead. What I hope is that the connection between me and her doesn't sever. Oh wow, she can't even walk through it! You're useless to me now. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. But I don't think it would have made a difference to be honest. Let's see if I can run the mind control. I'm surprised if this works. Now, oh, see, it goes red, which is what I suspected. Is there anyone in here? No. So, how am I supposed to trigger that without blowing myself up? Wow. 
to teach me a lesson. And how is that working out for you? I wonder if that's there just to trick you. Although very few times in this game do they actually try to, you know, trick you into doing something you're not supposed to. Oh, that's how that works. You do it from the other side. That's interesting. Is there anything in here? See, this is what I mean by the art. It's all pixelated. I mean, it looks good. It's just it's a shame. That's exactly the same as that. That one's that doesn't look as stretched as that. No, same. God, terrible music. What a shame. minutes or so before I save the game and uh, start uploading the uh, start rendering this the, the, the game data yeah I keep hearing that a lot I don't think there is a cough around here Save this bad boy. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> I just let him die naturally. Did I take his blood? Yeah, clearly I did. There's another guy in the background I see. There he is. I'm looking forward to killing Sebastian. I really want the um the berserker. It's such a cool move. Sadly, it doesn't do as much damage as you think it does, which kind of sucks, really, because you think, you know, a move that powerful, you would have um, a lot of uh, weight behind it. It's just more for the animation than it is for anything else. Oh, there's a guy above. Oh, another, another coffer. Good stuff. You know what? I'm going to still kill him, just for the fun.
right in the throat. Engages the little trains on the tracks. Maybe not. I do like the sound effects they use for the, the electricity and the explosions and all of that. It just sounds really cool. I don't remember if there's something I'm supposed to do in here as well. Oh, there's two switches. Okay, that's good. Whilst I do like these puzzles, I think they overdo it with these uh, mind control areas. It's a bit overkill. Yeah, the you have to turn that switch as well. I think this engages the trains a little. Yeah, it's actually useless to be honest. I mean, you can ride them, but they just repeat the same route all over again. So you don't actually need them, and they don't go very fast either. It doesn't really work very well for stealth. do find that there's a lot of this stuff so it gets very confusing very quickly. Someone ought to what? Someone ought to what? I'll help you. You'll make it much sooner. I forgot there was a switch from behind. Wow, that was useless, wasn't it? Where's that other guy? One thing I do want to know is what happens when you stand in front of the train. Does it push you out of the way or does it... Well, we'll find out, I guess. Oh, it just... it doesn't do anything. It looks like it edges you forwards. Okay, so that's where we were. Huh. Don't recall that. Am I missing something here? Okay, well, there's people there, so then since they're alive. Off 
coffers anywhere, no coffers. On one is an upwards, eh? I vaguely remember this being kind of pointless. Let's see what's underneath. You can't actually walk through it anyway. saying Masha Marshall that doesn't sound like what she was saying he's not interested you interested now I've noticed that if uh, there are multiple pe people in the area Ken will start looking around like he's looking at the dead body and then all of a sudden his eyes will train over to the character in the corner only if she's you know within range God, she's not paying any kind of attention at all so this part's actually pretty cool but unless you're like really focusing so again with the Resident Evil S type things you can see that's twinkling so that's actually designed so that you pull it back and that one in the corner, you actually leave as it is. If you bring it forward, it blocks the ability f for this bad boy to get exploded, to, to be detonated by the flame. So that should activate the train. I'm not going to go too far and close to it. Just enough so that I can see, but not enough so that I can feel the impact and get blown around. Oh god, that was dumb, wasn't it? You have to do it this way round. Hmm. Ah, that's weird. That's weird. You would expect them to push it back, not to pull it back. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, it's cutscene, so I can't actually move anywhere. Alright, if there's a save window, I'm going to take it and then I'm going to exit the game because we're at the full one hour limit. Just going to. Oh, I can't absorb their blood. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, is that pieces of their arm? Oh, God, that is awful. Oh, well, that was their body. Oh, that's kind of grim. So, normally I would continue playing until they were the boss, but, I mean, that boss match is about 10-15 minutes worth so what I'll do is I'll quit it from here and then I'll see you guys another time so hope you enjoyed the session so far unfortunately we didn't find many bugs but hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did see you guys soon have a good one